Welcome back to the Infamous Ghost Podcast. I'm Josiah. I'm Celis. And today we got another reaction video for y'all. Yeah, we're going to be reacting to Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, The Expendables Part 4, and The Flash Final Trailer because it drops this week. Which one are you excited for, Josiah? Um, Honestly, out of all three, I, I might say The Flash, honestly. Because, like, ex you Expendables, like, listen, listen, listen. The Expendables is, like, I used to like the Expend Expendables growing up, you know? It was just classic movies, action-packed. Classic. Like, you know, they it came out, like, the last one came out in, like, 2014, 2015. Oh, I was, what, 14? What, when, did the first one, when did the first two come out? Uh, like, 2010. Yeah, exactly. I was 10 years old, like, so... That like those are old movies to me, but like they old, they older, I should say. So it's not nah, action. They, they're bringing in new characters, but yeah, me, I like like you said, yeah, me, I would say the Flash, just because of how big of a movie that's gonna be, and people been waiting four years for it. But I'm excited for the Expendables, man. I that I, I enjoyed the Expendables. I just hope this one is rated R because the last one was PG and it kind of ruined it. But I'm also excited for Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One because. This is the close to the Mission Impossible uh, series we're getting. We're getting a part one this year and part two next year. And, mm. man, I, I just want to see what crazy stunts Tom Cruise do this time because, you know, the man, like, 60 and still do his own stunts. Oh, that's impressive. That's impressive. Definitely is, man. Which one you want to watch first, bro? Uh, let's get into the Mission Impossible trailer first. Mission Impossible. All right, let's get it. All right. We got Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning in part one. Let's get it. Our lives are the sum. Crazy. Of I seen a behind the scenes video of him doing this stunt. The man literally drove off a cliff. Then we cannot escape. Yeah, that was him actually on that motorcycle. Yeah. That's crazy. Yes. Ethan, this mission of yours is gonna cost you dearly. One final mission. Man, Paramount said we're gonna milk this series. Truth is vanishing. Like some James Bond type shit right here. Yeah, bro, you gotta watch Mission Impossible, man. I'm telling you, this is to me, this is better than a 007. You've no idea. Bring back some familiar. Man, man, he he is a good ass actor. He from um What's that show on Netflix? Yeah, that scene look man. this scene look like it's straight out of Fast and Furious. Bro, the, the budget for this, they had a $290 million budget for this movie. The world's coming after you. His fate is written. Shall we write yours, too? If anything happens to them, there's no place that I won't go to kill you. That is written. Look at this. That's actually him. What? He actually did that. It's not a green screen, it's a real... No, that's he drove off a real What's clip. I'll show you the video. What's your ultimate objective? I can't wait to go see this, man. That was a little uh, throwback to the first one. always matter more to me than my own. Damn, this looks good. None of our lives can matter more than this mission. I don't accept that. They got Melvin in this movie. Beating his eyes. Ben Grimes. Man. Yes. You already know it's going to end on a cliffhanger because it's a part two. Man, this look good, though, man. And it's going to be an IMAX. Yeah. Big, big step up, man. I enjoyed that trailer. Yeah, for I, I'm not gonna lie. I am kind of unfamiliar with the Mission Impossible series, so I do got some catching up to do. But that that trailer right there looked tough, to be honest. Like man. from the car scenes to uh, fighting scenes, uh, shit. Just from the yeah. actors that said it, shit. I, I know it's gonna be a hit. Each Tom Cruise movie, like it's, I think it's just a blockbuster film because of the level of seriousness he gives to each character and the physical attributes he got to do to fulfill whatever that character needs to do so i think man and ethan hunt he's been playing this character for what 30 years so he's familiar with the character and 
he know what great lengths he got to go to to excite the audience. Like la the last movie, the man was driving a helicopter, and he jumped out of a plane. Damn. All his own stunts. Bro, that like, why won't they just get a stunt man? Like dedication, man. That's what he known for. Like one time in Mission Impossible Four, the man held his breath underwater for six minutes. Six minutes straight. Six minutes straight. It was it was a full scene. Hey, bro, that that's dedicated. That's hard work right there. That's straight bro. discipline, right there. Man, like, and and I think in another Mission Impossible movie, I think it was three or five, the man literally he held on to a moving plane going up in the air. No, I think I seen that somewhere, like probably like on TikTok or something. Yeah, it was like you know, a little like, TikTok. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. just the the extra mile he he go to actually make the audience like, like damn, this is good. Hey, as you see, the man driving off a, a cliff. Yeah, bro, that's that is tough right there. Not too many actors say they did that. So, hey, yo, the, kudos to him. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this, man. We definitely got to go check this out and review it. All right, shit. Next up, let's 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 get into the Expendables, man. All right, let's get it. Oh, what? They got 50 yeah, cents. Yeah, I was here. just about to. That's crazy, man. Hey, he replaced the Terry Crews, I see. Welcome home, honey. Megan Fox, you know, God bodies, damn, she fine as hell. What is this? You know, body's being dropped when you see Jason Statham in here. Man. With you. Oh, I'm sorry. You weren't invited. So it looked like, from the guess I'm getting, it looked like they building around him now. So he, I'm guessing he's the new leader of the squad. Or going to be the new leader. This is some, some Mr. and Mrs. Smith type shit right here. Yeah, that was different. All right, there goes Sylvester Stallone. Why are you here? I got this situation where I need your help. I need better friends. Who's up? The new guy. Is that sniper? Don't there you go. Look at Dolph Lundgren. Is that a wig? Oh, guys, remember this place. Don't shoot it by accident. <laughs> Terrorists have taken possession of nuclear missiles on a man. Look at Randy Couture. Hey, okay, they, bring, they bring some OGs back. It'll be this look like a Call of Duty mission right here, campaign mode. They need an extendables video game. Man, look at this, bro. I can't. This look good. That's uh, I can't think of that dude's name. It's time to get loud. Let's fly, baby. Bro, this look good, man. Uh, look, I knew you gonna bring the brass knuckles back. What do he come from? I can't think of it. That... That's what I'm talking about. Damn. Bro, he looks so familiar as fuck it with me. Is that the biggest one you've got? Oh, it's way bigger than that. Damn, that look good. They'll they'll die when they're dead. What the fuck? That trailer right there was tough. I ain't gonna lie. I'm more excited for that than uh, Mission Impossible. That's because you've seen the first three movies. I mean, yeah, it's been a while, but I mean, I would be more excited for a movie I've seen already rather than a movie I've never seen. Now, overall, I think the trailer for Expendables Four was better than Mission Impossible. But like you said, you to quote you on what you said about the Flash trailer. You can't let a trailer mislead you. And you said that about the Fast and the Furious trailer, too. All right, listen, listen. No, 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 don't, don't no. backtrack on the cap, man. Don't backtrack on I the cap. Backtrack. All, I, all I'm saying was this trailer looked better than Mission Impossible. Am I so right? You, Am so I wrong? You, are you letting the trailer mislead? No, hell no, because I understand what's going on in Mission Impossible Universe. So I'm looking forward to that movie. Yeah, but I'm not looking into the movie. I'm just looking at the trailer overall. Like you know, I feel like I mean, the yeah, I, was, I feel like the Expendables is like it's more expense because all they said something was like missiles, and you know, there's more to the story. I mean, uh, I think Expendables is more of a throwback action, and Mission Impossible is more of a a calculated spy drama, it's more a spy action thriller. What do you mean by throwback action? Throwback action, like just violence, 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 violence. Yeah, you didn't look at none of those fight scenes in there? 
That's I'm not saying it like that. I'm saying that's that is what the franchise is built off of violence because that's what the fans want when they see an Expendables movie. Yeah, they want they want the they want to see all their throwback action heroes do some violent shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, but you saw the actors they added in it. No, you're right. But like I said, that trailer was more better than the other trailer. Uh, I, what happened? I, I mean, you you was trying to go in on Indiana Jones, a eighty year old man oh, cracking the whip. But what about fucking the eighty year old man getting into bar fights? All right, Sheila, so that's different because now you got you got Jason Statham in there. You bro, Jason, if you, Jason Statham. Yeah, he played for the Boston Celtics. I didn't say Tatum. <laughs> you damn near said Tatum. <laughs> it's Statham, right? No, it's Statham. Say Statham. Yeah. I, not say what? them, stay them. Like stay, stay, them. stay them. Stay them. Stay them. Damn, that's, <laughs> it, it sound wrong, bro. This is sound wrong. His ass, he killed me with that damn voice. He pushed my mother. <laughs> Yo, like I said, you see him, you know bodies being dropped left and right, and his yeah, fight facts. choreographies is always on point. I just hope this is not the last Expendables movie. I hope this leads into another movie because it's been too big of a gap for this to be the final story. We need at least one more movie to close it out. I feel like they got to see how they do in the box office first. So. Yeah, I think that this is what this is exactly what it is, just to test the waters. Yeah, then if this do well, we definitely got to get another one. Oh yeah, for sure. But hopefully they can bring like remember the first one they had Jet Li in there, and it's like yeah, he was in the first three. Yeah, like what? Like, like yeah, what I think if, all these niggas old, bro. This is Jet Li. Like, what if they could get somebody like in that like? I mean, they, you know, they, bro, atmosphere. just think of everybody. They already had Jean Claude Van Damme, Mel Gibson, Jet Li, yeah. Dolph Lundgren, like Terry yeah. Crews, like Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger, Stone Bruce Cold. Willis, Chuck yeah. Norris, Stone Cold. They yeah. had a lot of people in them, bro. Yeah, so. Ronda Rousey. Damn, was she in there? Yeah, she was in part three. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, they had a lot of people, man. So, like I said, I'm excited. I'm excited, man. I'm not, I don't got anything bad to say about it. Right, let's, let's get into the real deal, Holyfield, man. man DC One of the best movies here. that's about to drop this year. The Flash. Down, bro. I, I guarantee you, bro, this is what we be top three. Man, let's get into it. But you just said you looking forward to The Flash the most, bro. Right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but it's bro, not going to be top three stop movies we've seen this on the, year. Stop back it's not going to be the top three movies we've seen this year. Like, I'm letting you know that now, bro. What? Yes. All right, man, let's get into it. All right, man, you ready, DC hater? <laughs> man, let's go. Oh my God! Man, I don't understand the hate that this costume was getting. I love this costume. Oh, so they kept that same outfit. Okay, yeah, I I do like this costume. But it's too much red of me. These visual effects are crazy, man. But Bruce, I can fix things. I can save people. I can save my mom. I can save your parents. Man, look at Damn, this. Damn, saying that to us. He's face telling me is this is not about to be a Everything. huge movie. What? Look at this. I love you, Bob. I love you too. It's crazy, so bro. How was it this week? How's school? I'm mad school they changed the dad. Good. This is mad trippy, dude. This is catastrophic. Man, this. Hey, bro, my boy. Man, I want to look back. Yeah, this is the villain. I'm not gonna lose her again. Look at Supergirl, oh, man. Come on, now, nah, bro. Stop, stop the cap. This might be one of the best movies of the year. Uh. Good trailer. Oh. Wait, he's Batman? Man, look at this. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Oh, damn, they got multiple Batmans in here. And I, I read somewhere that Batman might be a part of the entire Flash trilogy. I wouldn't be surprised. He got bulletproof, bulletproof cape. What in the world was he just doing? Bro, look at this. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. 
And this is only his first move into his series. This is crazy. We still, we, we protect, bro, that, they ain't even had Iris in the last trailer. Yeah, it's getting closer to release day, so now wow. we. Why are they not promoting Iris? What if a like, character's not like. That, that, that's what I don't understand. Why are they not promoting Iris West and she's like the second biggest character in Flash? Wait, who is her character? You know, you don't know who Iris West is? You don't know nothing, man. Iris West is Barry Allen's white wife. Oh, okay. I That's mean, not... from from what I'm getting from the trailer, is like he's kind of like time traveling to like save his mom or something. Yeah, That's what yeah. I'm getting from it. Yeah, this is I'm, I guess they going on where he started Flashpoint. Okay, so, so I, that might be where this movie go. Yeah, alternate universe where yeah Zod in, ends up taking over. They brought Michael Shannon back in. Yeah, man, I'm I'm happy, bro. I'm this movie definitely looks like, super good, super good. Oh yeah, for I the chase scenes low key was on point. I ain't gonna lie. When Batman was like holding on to the zip line and shit, when he on a motorcycle and all that, I'm like, uh, damn, you can tell and they flipping cars and shit. Man, like, I, thought, I thought on? I thought I thought Michael Keaton was only gonna be like a small role in this movie, but it seemed like he a part of the whole film, which I'm not mad at. Yeah, see, I like like I said, trailers can be misleading. So it's like if he is part of the whole film, I ain't like. I'm cool with that. I really hope Ben Affleck is part of the whole film. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I he, really he hope... said in an interview, he said he only in like 10 minutes of this movie. Bro, that's so disappointing, bro. That's one of my favorite Batman. They restarted like the universe. They said we we gonna see who the new Batman is in this movie. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they restarting it. This, is, this movie will restart the universe because after this, we get... Blue Beetle, and then after Blue Beetle, we get Superman. Superman is what everything start. That's when the first chapter started in the DCU. Okay, so this is kind of like a, a a prequel to everything, or yeah, something? Pre like a, basically a prequel, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, all right. Man, DC got some shit coming, man. It's about to get scary for Marvel. I ain't gonna lie, Guardian saved Marvel this year because what if that wouldn't it? if that if that wouldn't drop, it would have been a flop year for Marvel. I ain't gonna lie. I guarantee when like when other Marvel stuff come out, like when Secret Invasion stuff come out, watch everybody go go back to Ant Man and be like, "Oh, we missed this detail." Oh, bro, nobody this... gonna go back to Ant Man, bro. Trust me. Th that that's how Marvel is set up. We need those bridges. I'm saying movies. niggas is not gonna watch that whole movie over again. Yes, yes, they is, bro. Bro, that shit was fucking mid. Not even mid. That shit was ready. You talking crazy now, bro. You talking crazy. You said you enjoyed that movie, bro. No, you sat like, there and like enjoyed that. The movie. I said the visual effects for the movie were great. Cause it's Marvel. Like, come on now, but the story was weak, and I I'm on quote saying that Jonathan Majors and Michelle Pfeiffer carried this film. That without the acting, this was a mediocre film. Um, see, you're not 100% wrong right there, but at the, like I said, this is just like a filler movie, you know? We need this movie so we can get bigger movies. I feel like a movie should be a, a movie, not a filler. If I'm spending $200 on a movie, it better be a fucking blockbuster no, movie. Listen, listen. I don't we don't get Infinity War else. without the first couple of Iron Man. Bro, then we they could have dropped this on Disney+. Plus. Why put it in the theaters? Because like, did it not do numbers in it? Did it not do no, numbers? No, no, it's a flop. No, it did, it did not. What, what? It, bro, it, let's look. I think I'm pretty sure they did four, okay. four to five hundred million in the box office on a two hundred, like a two hundred, two hundred fifty million dollar budget. So it profit then? No, hundred million. No, it, because it, they do. They use like a hundred million for for marketing. No, no, you said they made four hundred million. They spent two hundred fifty million on a movie plus. Plus throw in a hundred hundred million for marketing. That's like a three hundred and fifty million dollar movie right there. Yeah, that's still like oh, it, it made million. it made four hundred and seventy six million. Exactly. And how 200, much they... 214 million in the US, which is not a lot. Worldwide though. Uh, to put it in perspective, the first Ant Man made five hundred and nineteen million. First Ant Man was a great movie. But that was two movies ago and, and this one only did four hundred and seventy six. That, that's, that's why. Flop. 
not a, that's not a flop of mine. It's a flop, bro. Look at the numbers. That they lost money. They didn't make any money from this movie. Bro, no. <laughs> Just call it a flop a flop, man. <laughs> niggas was trying to talk about Shazam. Ant Man was a flop too. Shazam, Black Adam. Oh, like uh, that's not part of the DCU. I don't give no fuck about them. <laughs> the Flash is where it starts. Then we got Blue Beetle. Then we got Aquaman. And then we got Sp uh, Superman. Man. We, we gonna see, man. We gonna see. We got some shit coming. All right. All right. That's gonna do it for us today, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Infamous Ghost Podcast. And you can follow us on Instagram at Infamous Ghost Pod. And you can follow us on Twitter and TikTok at Infamous Goats. Until then, we see y'all next week. Peace.